A Very Big Bunny by Marissa Vina Russo. Amelia was a bunny, a very big bunny. You really stand out in the crowd, said Mama. You're always the star of the show, said Daddy. But Amelia didn't want to stand out in the crowd. Or be the star of the show. She wanted to be a bunny. A not so big bunny. Hmm. In school, Amelia was the biggest bunny in her class. Miss Argulia liked to line up the class in size order. That's why Amelia was always the last. Going to the gym, going to the library, going to the cafeteria. At recess, none of the other bunnies wanted to play with Amelia. We can't turn the jump rope. High enough for you, said Lavina. Your feet are too big. For hopscotch, added Daphne. And the seesaw was out of the question. So Amelia stood by the fence and kept herself busy. Counting the clouds in the sky, listening to the wind in the trees, thinking about important things. After school, Amelia walked home by herself. Along the way, she practiced ballet twirls. She sang, I'm a little teapot. She picked dandelions and made herself a crown. On her walk home, Amelia never felt big. One day the door to the classroom opened and in walked the principal, Mrs. Radish. I would like to welcome your new classmate, Susanna, she said. What a pit squeak whispered Lavina. What a peanut, whispered Justine. What a shrimp, whispered Duffy. Susanna was a bunny, a very small bunny. Here's Duffy. Oh, here's Susanna. Here's Amelia. And here's all the girls, Duffy. Justine and Lavina whispering. At recess, none of the bunnies wanted to play with Susanna. We can't turn the jump rope that low, said Lavina. Your feet are too small for a hopscotch, added Daphne. And the seesaw was out of the question. Hmm. What's going to happen next? Susanna raised her ears as high as they could go. And walk over to the fence. Hi, she said to Amelia. What are you doing? Counting the clouds in the sky. Looking down at little Susanna. Looking down at little Susanna. Amelia felt enormous. The clouds are fluffy and puffy today. Just like giant cotton candy. Said Susanna, I love cotton candy. Amelia 
just kept counting. Don't you wish we could hop up to the sky and ride on the clouds, said Susanna? Amelia did not answer. Maybe I can help you. No, thank you, said Amelia. I am a lot closer to the sky than you are. Uh -huh. The next day at recess, Susanna walked right up to Amelia. Hi, says Susanna. Are you counting the clouds today? No, I'm listening to the wind in the trees, said Amelia. If we had umbrellas, we could sail on the wind, says Susanna, and fly all around the world and visit India and Egypt and China. Shh, said Amelia. Can I listen to the wind with you? Says, asked Susanna. I don't think so, said Amelia. You need really big ears to hear the wind. And so it went. Every day at recess, Susanna came over to the fence and asked Amelia what she was doing. And every day, Amelia had an answer. Spelling words that start with a P, or making dandelion crowns, or practicing piliers. But Amelia never invited Susanna to join in. One afternoon, Miss Arbulia announced picture day was coming up. I expect you all to look your very best, she added. Don't forget to wear one of your Dom Dandelion crowns, Lavina whispered to Amelia. Some of the other bunnies started to laugh. All the way home, Amelia thought about the class picture. It was very possible that she would have a tummy ache or a bad cold on picture day and have to stay home from school. At recess the next day, Susanna looked different. There was a mysterious bulge under her jacket. Meet me on the other side of a playground. Behind the bench, Susanna whispered to Amelia, I have a top secret plan for picture day. Amelia stared up at the sky. There were no clouds today. She raised her ears and listened. There was no wind blowing through the trees. She tried to think of something very important, but nothing came into her head. With a big bunny sigh, Amelia stood up and followed Susanna across the playground. Susanna and Amelia sat on the ground behind the bench. Dandelion grounds are okay, Susanna said. But they drooped too fast. And then Susanna showed Amelia what was under her jacket. We better get busy, said Susanna. We want to be the stars of the show. We do, said Amelia. What are they doing? I 
they're going to be different. On picture day, Amelia didn't have a tummy ache or a bad cold. She raised her ears as high as they could go and put on her favorite dress, her purple tights, and her party shoes. Susanna was waiting for Amelia by the schoolyard. The two bunnies finished getting ready for the class picture. Then they hurried into school. Oh my, said Miss Argulia. I don't think you're allowed to wear tiaras for the class picture, said Lavina. Tiaras are fine, said Miss Argolia, and quite original. Amelia was a very big bunny, and Susanna was very small, but from then on, it didn't matter. It didn't seem to matter. Together, they counted the clouds in the sky and listened to the wind in the trees. They made jewelry and practiced spelling words. They twirled and sang, and one day, they even discovered that the seesaw was not out of the question. The end. Physical differences what do you see? Come back. A very big bunny, a very small bunny. Physical differences, disabilities. We need to promote it. We need to not judge. It's a problem. Why? Because we never, children never see it. Till they get older. So maybe we can start by reading a very big bunny. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>